friends, Ben here for Giant Loop, and today I want to show you exactly what we mean by universal fitment by showing you how to make our bags work on maybe an unconventional choice, this Braz 250 Chinese Dual Sport. This is a 2022 Braz 250 that I'm actually reviewing for the Dork in the Road channel. But I'm taking it out moto camping tonight and I set it up completely with giant loop bags. It seemed like a perfect opportunity to kind of show you how well these bags adapt and work with all kinds of different bikes, even maybe some less conventional choices like this $2,000 dual sport motorcycle. So I've actually attached the giant loop Diablo tank bag. I've got the Great Basin bag and the Rogue Dry bag. And let me show you the setup here on this Braz 250 so you can see how adaptable these bags, the Great Basin in particular, are for whatever motorcycle it is that you happen to be riding. So obviously the centerpiece of this setup, the thing that makes it work, is this Giant Loop Great Basin bag. The Great Basin is designed to work with any motorcycle with passenger foot pegs. It just goes up and over the back of the bike where your passenger would sit. No racks required and it's incredibly versatile and easy to mount to a ton of different bikes. The difference between the Coyote and the Great Basin is the Great Basin's a little bigger. It's about 60 liters, and you can see it's actually a lot more vertical. This sits up and down, kind of like where a passenger would be, versus the Coyote, that's a little bit more of a 45-degree angle as it comes down. Uh, so it's a different setup. There's a lot more room in the Great Basin. I actually ran this on my Grom. I made a video about that, which you can check out if you like. But this thing works with just about any motorcycle. So it mounts in three places, two of which are exactly the same. You can see here, I've just got it around the passenger foot peg mount and I went around the outside just to make this strap a little longer, decrease a little bit of the slack that I had to deal with there so I've got almost no slack there. Comes over the exhaust. I'm not worried about exhaust because you can see it doesn't even actually come into contact even with the heat shield where I have it set here on the bike. It's actually there's some there's some distance between the bottom of the bag here and this heat shield but even if there weren't with the heat shield there I wouldn't worry and if it was in a, in a worrisome place the Great Basin comes with a heat shield, so you can just attach it. It comes with one of our Hot Springs heat shields. In the rear, it's actually got anchor straps. You can see one right here that attached to the rack that this Braz actually comes with. But if you didn't have a rack, you can either just go underneath the tail of the motorcycle or find some other anchor point at the rear. But a rack makes it really easy. You could also add a giant loop rack to make that work. I'm actually going to work backwards a little bit to show you how I've mounted this. So let me show you how the Rogue is mounted, and that'll help me get to where the Great Basin is mounted. So the Rogue has no straps attaching it to the motorcycle of its own. I didn't need to add any because the Great Basin is designed to integrate with either this dry bag or the Tillamook dry bag in a very simple way. Great Basin has this beaver tail that goes over the top. You can see these three straps here, and I just ran them through the daisy chain loops right here on the Rogue dry bag. It's, it's designed to be used this way, so all I have to do is unbuckle the straps that I have to run on the Great Basin anyway, and this Rogue will come right off, except I've sort of attached it on the sides too to give myself a little bit of extra stability, but that's optional. Comes right off. Look at that. There are three straps on the rear of the Great Basin. All this comes with the bag. So I've just attached one here on the outside, one here in the middle, and I went all the way over the back on this to pull the bag back a little bit. And there's another one here on the outside. So you attach those three and then you can run. These are the straps that go to the beaver tail. You can just run these without a, a dry bag. You don't have to have a dry bag because they just compress the bag and hold it still. Or you can add a dry bag to your setup just like I did. I'll put it back on and show you how it works. So I just got the straps running underneath the rack. It looks like a lot of straps at the moment, but it all makes sense once you get them all attached. So just through that daisy chain, over the top of the beaver tail, into one of the three buckles. This one goes through the middle. I like to run this one under the handle. Also goes into the beaver tail. Here's the third one. I'm just going to go through the left side, up and over to the beaver tail on the Great Basin. And like I said, because this is so universal fit, this Great Basin and this dry bag, you can put it on just about any bike with rear passenger foot picks. And then I just like to run these side buckles through the side buckles that actually hold the roll top down on the Great Basin, just for extra security, and it keeps the bag from moving side to side or whatever. So between the Great Basin and this Rogue dry bag, you have almost 90 liters of storage right here which is ridiculous. That's a lot of storage for a little bike like this. And that doesn't even include the six liters in the Diablo tank bag. So this is our Diablo tank bag. My favorite tank bag, I think. Works really great here on the Braz. 
Uh, it unzips so it's easy access to the gas cap. I don't have to take it off when I stop for fuel. Just one strap around underneath the neck of the bike here. And the other strap runs down. There's actually a frame rail right here. So there's actually a frame rail right underneath, which I've run it down to. This isn't pinching or impeding anything. That's just the air hose for the carburetor. It's not even pulling on it, so I'm not worried about it. That just attaches to the bottom in two places. It's the same on the other side. And that gives you six additional liters of storage for gloves, you know, keys, garage door opener. I like to keep my filming gear in there because I'm going out to film this camping trip, but I have plenty of gear here on this bike for this camping trip on the Bras. So the cool thing about this inexpensive Chinese dual sport is that it proves that you don't have to spend a ton of money. You don't have to have the nicest, fastest, most expensive bike to get out there and have an adventure. We make luggage that works with all kinds of bikes because we want you to be able to go out and have those adventures no matter what it is you're riding. That's the idea. Also worth mentioning that this gray colorway on the Great Basin bag is only available on our website. There's also an orange that is only available on our website. So I will link to all these products in the description. Please check them out if you're interested. Uh, check it, take a look at the website. Don't forget that if you have questions about gear or gear fitment or how gear works or what's best for you and your bike and your setup, you can always email ride at giantloopmoto.com or use the chat now feature on giantloopmoto.com to be connected with a gear guru who's gonna walk you through to make sure you get the right setup. Don't forget that all of our products are backed by our limited lifetime warranty and that all orders over $75 from giantloopmoto.com ship for free. Please consider subscribing to the channel for more sort of fitment videos like this, how to's, gear overviews, and general tips and tricks. And don't forget that YouTube subscribers save 10% with promo code subscriber on giantloopmoto.com. So if you have any questions about this setup, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching. Go light, go fast, go far with Giant Loop.